And his song about running from crime made him known. But teenage rapper TK will not be able to run from a now 55 year prison sentence. Delivered, in fact, by a jury earlier today in Fort Worth. Jason Allen was in the courtroom for the murder trial. He's joining us live right outside the Tim Curry Criminal Justice Center. Our top story at five. Jason. Doug, the jury deliberated for a little longer than three hours today here before deciding on that 55-year sentence. That song that raised the profile of Tamor Tay K. McIntyre in the end also likely played a role in that prison sentence. Tamor McIntyre ever so slightly rolled his head to the side as a judge announced his 55-year prison sentence for the murder of Ethan Walker. The decision came two years after Tay K. rapped in his song, The Race, that there was a case he couldn't beat. I think it was part of a career move that went wrong. The song was certified platinum for the 19-year-old, but prosecutors argued it was also an example of the teen's character. They urged the jury to consider it when deciding on a sentence for the 2016 home invasion and robbery where Walker was killed. And afterward, Walker's parents said every lyric had their son's blood on it. Every time we uh, look up, it seems like we're seeing news about the song seeing praise about the song, and seeing you literally dancing on Ethan's grave. But you've gotten enough attention. McIntyre's defense team, which helped him avoid a life sentence, argued that though the song was offensive, it was art. They were pushing for nothing longer than a 20-year deal other teens received in the case, but the jury saw it differently. You're still here. You're still here. My son is gone. He's a box of ashes sitting in my living room. He's gone. McIntyre will be eligible for parole, but he'll have to serve half of that sentence, 27 and a half years, before he gets that opportunity. We're live tonight in Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Jason.